Welcome to FX Street. Today we are going to be talking about Polkadot price undergoing a rejection, offering an entry level for bulls towards $30. But before we dive into the technicals, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at FX Street Crypto to be updated on the hottest trends in the cryptocurrency market. If you have a look at Polkadot today, we see the broader downtrends from the fall and finally a bit of a rally. And even more so, we see, or we can identify here, it will not be the best, but we see a bit of a double top here being formed at $23.18. And that coincides as well with the monthly R1 resistance level. And as you can see, uh, probably we can also define a very good or bit of a trend line here, depending on not the best, let me put it over here and let's move this one up over here then. There we go. So all in all, a bit of a slippage here, but then one, two, three, four, five, six, six solid tests and then rejection to the upside here. So let's mark those up, which is quite important just to understand for the nearby future on how important the level will be and where to look for if there is a break in or change in sentiment. So for now, it's still a rally. Uh, as long as we don't pop above this top from the 8th of February, it could well be that this is sort of a dead cat bounce and that the rejection against the R1 will uh, push price action to the downside. We'll get to that in a bit. But first of all, with current tailwinds, positive news and uh, markets, looking to shape up to, uh, again, book a week of solid gains in the making uh, by Friday. More tailwinds are set to kick in. Uh, and that you can see as well, uh, bears have been trying to push price to the downside, but for now price is being pulled up again uh, by uh, bulls who are getting in. You see that as well, the relative strength index flatlining here a little bit, not going to overbought, but flatlining, which means that there's both uh, buyers and sellers uh, at the same time, around the same price, very interested for a handover. So once we got that out of the way, expect to see further uptick all the way up to possibly those $25.19 uh, in a first phase. We change the color here in green, which makes it a bit more clear. And if we then move all the way up to the second phase, uh, that will then be a bit further up all the way up to here, uh, just shy of $30, uh, $30 sorry, with the 200-day simple moving average coming in here at $29.30. That could provide uh, a bit of a cap or a bit of a rejection. So, but all in all, if, here we go. So if DOT is able to fulfill these two phases, uh, we can start talking about an uptrend. And secondly, there will be around $30, uh, for, sorry, 30% or $6.71 profit on the table uh, in this two-tiered system. Why I'm not talking about this $27.23 handle? Just merely because, as you can see, I can actually check this off because it has been chopped up very very often the past few months in December, or the past few days in December. So I'm actually going to take that one out. Uh, and then you will see a bit more better defined the two tier system towards the 200 day simple moving average. Risk to the downside, of course, uh, is a bit in a similar pattern. Could well be that this rejection offered a bit of a window for bears in order to push price action to the downside. And then, once the trend line would break, then we could see a, a full, not going to see a full pair back, but at least fall back to $18.37 with the 55 day simple moving average and the monthly pivot coinciding. And then it would be roughly a 15% loss in the making. Which are those tail risks that could still be, for example, from China coming out in support for Russia, for example? and uh, adding firepower to Russia, or uh, the, not going to say ceasefire, but it's not technically ceasefire, but a sort of reshuffle in the 
military actions. Russia could relocate some of the troops to other regions and uh, build pressure there in order to overthrow Ukraine. Um, so all in all, there are still a few tail risks in the pipeline that needs to be taken into account of. So that's it for Polka the price section. Please remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Twitter at FXTweet. Bye.